In this video, I'll break down how to use a 16mm film effects pack from Cinepax in Final Cut Pro 10. Once you download the film effects pack using the link down in the description below, you just want to go ahead and put that folder, you know, wherever you want, either in your download section, your desktop, or your hard drive, and then you're just going to import the overlays. So don't put this in your motions template folder or your preset folder, you're just going to import these as overlays. So just click on Command I, and then of course locate where you have the pack saved. Again, it can be in your hard drive, your desktop, or your downloads. So as you can see right here, 16mm film effects pack, go through and select the ones you want. In this case, we'll go to maybe like a frame we'll scroll down and then we'll use 16 millimeter frame 13 so just select the asset or assets you want to use and just simply import them like you would any normal video or any type of overlay this is just an overlay don't put this in any type of like motions uh your, your motions template folder your preset folder this is just an overlay you're just going to directly import this into final cut from wherever you have the folder saved Now this pack comes with a whole bunch of really cool assets and the first asset I want to go over are these really cool frame overlays. So I'm going to go over two of my favorite. So what you want to do is you want to just have your clip, whichever clip you want to use, and you're just going to take the frame overlay and you're just going to place it on top of your clip. So you can see here is the first frame overlay. You're just going to place it on top of your clip and of course you can select the video itself, you know, adjust the scale, you want to scale up a little bit or you may want to move the clip a little around. You just simply apply the overlay on top of the clip and then you can just adjust the position and scale of the clip below it. Now another frame overlay that I really like is 16 millimeter frame 12. This frame I really like a lot so I'm going to go ahead and just place the frame on top of the clip that I want to use it in and then just simply trim the frame overlay so it's just on top of the video itself and then of course you can take the video and just adjust the video, adjust the scale, adjust the position of course you know whatever you know looks good to you. Now another thing you may want to do is you may want to take a grain overlay and then place it on top or on top of the video but underneath the frame so let's just take the grain overlay and just place it on top of the clip but you want to place it you're just having it in between the frame and the actual clip itself and then we're going to take the blend mode and we're just going to change it to overlay and all that's going to do is just going to make the effect look a little less digital it's going to add a little bit of grain to the video and it's just going to look you know a little less digital and look a little bit you know a little bit realistic obviously it's still going to look you know it won't look as realistic as actually using a 60 millimeter film camera but using this really cool grain overlay will just make it look a little bit more realistic and a little less digital Another really cool thing this pack comes with are these really cool overlays. So you can see here is code 04 or just code 4. We'll place it on top of the clip and we're just going to trim it. And then as you can see, it has these really cool numbers just pop up. So those are that's one of my favorite overlays that comes in the pack. Another one of my favorite overlays is this really cool grunge 4. So it's going to take the overlay and then just place it on top of the clip. And we're just going to go ahead and trim it. Or you can actually speed the clip up if it's a little too slow. So just click on Command R and you can go ahead and just speed up the overlay to make it go a lot faster so you can either trim the overlay or you can actually speed it up to make it look to make it go a lot faster so let's play the clip as you can see you have this really cool code overlay and this really cool nice grunge overlay so you just add some really cool overlays to your video using this pack and those are probably my two favorite overlays from this pack Now this pack also comes with these really cool film burn overlays and you can also use these as transitions. So let's take the film burn overlay, place it on top of the clip and we're going to take the film burn overlay, we're going to head over to blend mode and we're just going to change it to screen that way you can actually see the background. So as you can see I can go ahead and play the video as these really cool film burn overlay. But let's say you want to use this as a transition. What you're going to do is you're just going to go frame by frame until you find the brightest part in this film burn overlay. So as you can see I'm just going to go frame by frame and then as you can see there is the brightest part so that's going to be where the brightest part is so we're going to go frame by frame until we find the brightest part and then just place a marker now what you want to do is you want to take the film burn overlay and then place it in between the clips so what you want to do is you want to take the marker and you want the marker to line up in between the two clips because that's what's going to be the brightest and that way you can transition so if i play the video as you can see you have this really clean transition so all you're doing is you're going frame by frame until you find the brightest part in the overlay, place a marker and then line that up in between the two clips. 
Now this pack also comes with these really cool punch hole overlays or punch hole transitions. So let's take this one and we're just going to place it right at the end of this clip. Now in, in my opinion, I think changing the blend mode to lighten or difference looks the best. So let's head over here and then change the blend mode to difference. And then as you can see, what that's going to do is it's going to create this really cool inverted effect. So let's play the video. As you can see, this really cool punch hole effect, it kind of just inverts flickers on the screen. It is a really cool effect that I go frame by frame. You can see it's just a really cool effect that kind of flickers on the screen and just that helps transition in between the two videos okay let's say i want to take this one i want to apply another one and i kind of want to place it in the middle of the clip so what you can do is just select on the actual clip itself head over to blend mode in this case we're going to change it to lighten so i in my opinion i feel like lighten and difference look the best so let's go ahead and play the video and then as you can see that just looks so cool this really cool like hole punch you know transition this hole punch overlay and there you go place it on top of the clip and then just change the blend mode in my opinion i think changing the blend mode to difference or lighten looks the best now this pack also comes with these really cool alpha punch hole effects where basically the only difference between this one and the one that i just showed you is you don't have to mess the blend mode as you can see it's already cut out i'm going to go ahead and just take this scale and increase the scale a little bit just so you can't see the background as you can see it's already cut out now there are multiple different ways of using this overlay but i'm just going to show you a very simple uh, easy way of using this really cool overlay now if i play the video i just feel like it goes a little bit too fast you can see that the alpha one i just feel like it goes a little bit too fast so what i would do or look at just a little tip you can do keep in mind is click on command r and you can go ahead and just slow it down so it's not as fast so maybe something like 70 percent and then you can just trim the overlay so maybe it goes a little too fast so i'm just going to go ahead and just slow it down and then in my opinion, I think it looks a lot better. As you can see, it's a little bit slower. And there you go. You have this really cool alpha hole, uh, the alpha um, a punch hole effect. Where basically the only difference is you don't have to use, you don't have to mess with the blend mode. Now also, I feel like sometimes using it like the, a stencil alpha can look pretty cool using a stencil alpha blend mode. But this is a really simple one. You don't have to mess with the blend mode. You just place it on top of your clip. Now this pack also comes with some really nice sound effects. So if I scroll up until I find the sound effects, as you can see here are all the sound effects that come with this pack. So it's really cool. You, you also you have all these cool overlays, but you also have these really cool packs. So I'm going to go ahead and just take one that I want to use. So I have a whole video breaking down sound design, but a very simple explanation of sound design is you want to just place the sound effect um, underneath the clip and kind of line it up where you want the actual, you're basically lining the sound effect up with the actual you know effect or thing you're trying to link the, the video and the sound effect so you just place the sound effect below it and in my opinion i sometimes like go going frame by frame and listen to the audio especially if you're doing sound design going frame by frame is really important to make sure the sound and the overlay or the effect matches up a couple little tips and tricks would be you probably want to turn the volume down negative eight negative nine decibels you can trim the uh, sound effect sometimes fading the sound effect can be really nice just so it's not really abrupt you can also kind of be like, create like an l or j cut with um sound effects but I just wanted to make you aware of this pack comes with these really cool sound effects. I have a whole video breaking down sounds and I'm not going to do this in this video because it's going to take a very long time. But that was just, you know, very simple, quick tips. Again, I have a whole video breaking down how to use sound design or how to use sound effects in Final Cut. I just wanted to make you aware that this pack has a whole bunch of really cool sound effects that you can use to add and just make your video sound so much better. Effects are really cool, but when you add sound design and add sound effects to the actual effect, brings the effect to life and just sounds so much better. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.